Welcome back to Marvin's Customized Angling Channel. Today I'm going to look at two hooks, two similar hooks. One is a Mustad Killer Crawler hook and the other one is a Berkeley Slow Turn hook. Both of them are similar and work the same way when you put bait on them. It, the hooks are designed to either use the Gulp Killer Crawler which is a uh, manufactured bait that is designed specifically for the Berkeley hook or you can use um, it on this hook or a natural crawler. Once you impale the crawler you're going to thread it on this hook and you're going to push the body uh, past the eye of the hook and then uh, with your thumb or scissors uh, trim the crawler about an inch uh, past the hook itself. The differences between the Berkeley hook and the Mustad hook are quite defined and as I draw down onto this uh, still I want you to look very closely at the red Mustad killer crawler hook. Near the eye you're going to see two barbs they're very fine barbs that when you slide a worm up it'll hold it from sliding back off but these barbs are actually too small to work properly with the uh, gulp bait and we'll see that when I show you the Berkeley uh, fusion slow turn hook one of the things that I noticed early on with this hook was the the metal that's used to make the hook is soft and being soft when you're uh, bottom bouncing or trolling over rocks or even sand I noticed as the uh, bait turned in the water and picked up a little debris or uh, ran across some rocks or clamshells the tip of the hook was dull which meant constant maintenance as far as sharpening. And the other thing that uh, was very noticeable again was the the springiness of the hook. In other words, when you put your finger in the crutch of the hook, you can actually make it flex. So if you're trying to drive a hook home, you want that hook to go in straight, not at an angle. And I was always concerned that I could lose a fish with this Mustad model hook. But that's a personal opinion and that's something that uh, you'll have to study on your own. When I go through the Berkeley Fusion hook, the slow turn hook, which is actually a copy of this hook, I'll let you decide what you'd like to put on the end of your line. In this still there are two hooks, uh, they're both the same, and these are Berkeley Fusion hooks which is a copy of the Mustad Killer Crawler hook. Berkeley went to great lengths when they designed this hook and they wanted to make it better and here's how they did it. First of all if you look around the eye of the hook it's not just bent round, it's bent around and it's also welded. So now you're uh, very strong at the eye. There's no way that that eye will open up. The other thing that you can see just below the eye is a very uh, stout protrusion. And that is to hold the bait on. And it's, it was designed more for the uh, Berkeley Gulp, the killer crawler a bait that's used uh, with this hook but when you put a regular night crawler on this hook and slide it past that barb the nice thing is the bait will not slide back and when it slides back it affects the way the bait rolls in the water so it's very important whether you use a natural crawler or the killer crawler bait that the bait stays in place so there's, there's that difference. The other thing that I noticed right off the get-go 
was Berkeley used a different steel. It's much harder. The points stay sharper much longer. And when you put your finger in between the shank and the tip of the hook, it doesn't bend like a mustad. So when you drive a hook home with this hook, it goes straight in. It doesn't go in at an angle. And that way you're going to get better penetration and holding power. So maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I want you to know the difference between a Mustad Killer Crawler hook and the Berkeley Fusion Slow Turn. Thank you for following Marvin's Customized Angling Channel. We certainly appreciate your feedback.